Spectrophotometry Application The most common application of spectrophotometers is the measurement of light absorption. Even the emission of a luminescence instrument is a type of spectrophotometer. Principle A spectrophotometer consists of two instruments, namely a spectrometer for producing light of any selected wavelength and a photometer for measuring the intensity of light. The instruments are arranged so that the liquid in a cuvette or plate can be placed between the spectrometer beam and the photometer. The amount of light passing through the tube is measured by the photometer. The photometer delivers a voltage signal to a display device, normally a galvanometer. The signal changes as the amount of light absorbed by the liquid changes. If the development of color is linked to the concentration of a substance in solution, then that concentration can be measured by determining the extent of absorption of light at the appropriate wavelength. In more detail, the spectrophotometer quantitatively compares the fraction of light that passes through a reference solution and a test solution. Light from the source lamp is passed through a monochromator, which diffracts the light into a rainbow of wavelengths and outputs narrow bandwidths of this diffracted spectrum. Discrete frequencies are transmitted through the test sample. Then the intensity of the transmitted light is measured with a photodiode or other light sensor, and the transmittance value for this wavelength is then compared with the transmission through a reference sample. Theory. When monochromatic light, light of a specific wavelength, passes through a solution, there is usually a quantitative relationship, Beer's law, between the solute concentration and the intensity of the transmitted light, that is, this equation where I sub zero is the intensity of transmitted light using the pure solvent, I is the intensity of the transmitted light when the colored compound is added, C is the concentration of the colored compound, L is the distance the light passes through the solution, and K is a constant. If the light path L is a constant, as is the case with a spectrophotometer, Beer's law may be written this way, where K is a new constant and T is the transmittance of the solution. There's a logarithmic relationship between transmittance and the concentration of the colored compound. Thus, this equation holds.